It's very powerful philosophy, deep topography, because it embraces the dark, but its general aim is towards the light. It's rather like sort of standard therapy kind of stuff. You've got to embrace the pain in order to move forward. You know, it's that sort of thing. Hello. Guy who owned them uh, died, and I've taken over looking after the cats. Ah. Middlesex Royal Commission on Historical Monuments, 1937. Very, very interesting book. And includes a beautiful map. Oh, wow. I am Middlesex. Do you know, once when I was drunk, I was down at Rice Slip Lido and uh, I stood on a bench in front of a bunch of suburban types and declared myself the first king of Middlesex. This guy threatened to punch my lights out. He obviously uh, had ambitions in the same area. Like it over there. Middlesex County Records, very, very crucial book. Contains jail deliveries and indictments, true bills as they were called. Uh, very useful for my murder book. Includes an account of the trial and hanging of Elizabeth Rutter, Finchley's very own witch. And that was in the 17th year of James I, which I believe would be 1622. Not sure. Pinner chalk mines. Bet you didn't know that there were substantial chalk mines in Pinner. I actually went no. up there looking for them and couldn't find them a few years ago, but someone gave me this book. You can get down into them. They're really, really large chalk mines in Pinner. Mentioned, of course, in Ames of a Walker. But I don't suppose you remember that, do you? Uh, now, here's some interesting books, he said. Here's a very nice book, Edmonton Past and Present. I've only got volume two, found this in a junk shop. And on the more esoteric side, East Anglia walking the ley lines and ancient tracks. Uh -huh. And what was the look at this what's the we're stuck under here? Oh this is the Department of Maps. Now, Department of Maps is not part of Deep Library, and there have been conflicts. I mean, there's been occasions when I've taken a book out and wanted a map to go with it, and Department of Maps won't let me have it. A completely separate section. And strangely enough, there's some books in the Department of Maps, and there are occasional maps in the Deep Library. It's just to do with the evolution of the two systems. But they're at loggerheads with each other. They're like two sort of obstinate departments of um, government that just don't work well together. Say fisheries and transport or something like that. So, so what defines Deep Library? What, location-wise in the room? No, but, no, I mean, what, so you say that isn't Deep Library, but this is. What defines what goes into Deep Library? The Deep Library is printed form of the storage vat of regional memory. It's actually the written aspect of it to which I am adding in turn and I will show you later uh, how I am contributing to Deep Library. Mm. But Deep Library isn't that locatable. I've got a kind of um, a major sort of um, synapse zone of the Deep Library but actually you may find it in skips or in garages elsewhere in Middlesex or even beyond Middlesex and I suspect there's other people who've got other sections of the Deep Library probably people who sort of sneer at me when I go walking around Hounslow and think I'm some kind of upstart psychogeographer rather than somebody who's actually been doing this for years I do recall one occasion when me and a guy at Silvertown came to blows. I remember kneeing him very hard in the bollocks and him pulling a metal um, bar out from the ground and threatening to cane me because we'd mutually recognised that we were deep topographers and sort of had the arrogance that we were the only ones. He later became a very good friend of mine from a very old Silvertown family, a guy called Mark Wright. Really? Yeah. 
brought Timothy Leary over in, I think, 1982 or something. They wouldn't let Leary into the country. Oh, the Druitt books, Harrow, Pinner and the Stanmores Through the Ages by W.W. W. Druitt. I mean, just his name, he deserves to be uh, canonised as a topographer, don't you think? I like those stiff old wire-framed glasses names, the people we used to sneer at in the 1970s. I think that they're our real cultural heroes. Uh, I love them very much. Um, you know, um, I've done a lot of walking. You know, I've done a lot of walking. I mean, my ambition is to hold my region in my mind so that I am the region, so that when I die, I literally do become Middlesex in some kind of way. I mean, for me, that is my highest spiritual aspiration. You know, I will be the tarmac you, you race along, along the A41T. I'll be absorbed into the uh, mildewed lintels, hidden in overgrown knotweed by the side of the Hendon Way. I will be the beetles scurrying under a piece of corrugated plastic, hidden in some piss-stained corner of um, Moat Mount Nature Reserve. <laughs>